Hello, and very happy to see you on our channel. Today we give you a piece of breaking news from People Magazine. Meghan Markle's confession about life on TV sets exposed. Meghan Markle gave insight into her personal life growing up on TV sets and admitted it was a perverse place for a schoolgirl to be in unearthed accounts. Royal experts have detected a softening in statements made by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in recent weeks. They claim it could hint at plans to, quote, heal the rift with the firm. The couple announced their plan to step away from their roles as senior royals in January. They have since moved to the U.S. and a Netflix TV series reportedly worth £112 million has been brokered. Meghan, who grew up in Los Angeles in the world of show business, is no stranger to TV after appearing on the law drama Suits. She also revealed that she was put in an awkward position on sets when she was a schoolgirl. Before she broke into the acting world, Meghan studied theater and international relations at Northwestern University in Illinois and then served the U.S. Embassy in Argentina. She landed the role of Rachel Zane in Suits after appearances on Deal or No Deal and as an extra named Hot Girl in the 2005 film A Lot Like Love, which starred Ashton Kutcher. Megan filmed the legal show in Toronto, Canada, but claimed to be Californian through and through during a 2013 interview on The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. The future royal quipped that she was, quote, one of five people who actually grew up in Los Angeles and told the host, you can pinch me, I'm real. Mr. Ferguson clutched at her arm and tried to repeat the act a number of times, which led Megan to pull away and state, no. The interviewer described her having a strangely hairless body and absolutely hair-free in an unusual exchange later commented on by viewers. Another wrote, quote, see, true Megan, desperately wannabe, famous, superficial, leaning on her cuteness, insecure. He's making a joke out of her and she didn't even clock it. During their chat, Megan revealed that her father was a DP, a director of photography, which Mr. Ferguson mocked for being such an industry term. She revealed that Thomas Markle Sr. had worked on the sitcom Married with Children and was on set every day after school for 10 years. Megan added, it was a very perverse place for a little girl who went to Catholic school, no less, to grow up because I'm there in my school uniform, right? Mr. Ferguson interjected, oh yeah, before Megan covered her face with her hands and broke out into hysterical laughter. She continued, quote, the guest stars would be like Tracy Lords, Tia Carrere, you know, these are, those are some women. Ms. Lords was a former pornographic actress and the show was known for its use of derogatory jokes about women. She told AOL's Build series in 2016 that it was, quote, a really odd place for a little girl to grow up and that she was there for a lot of the show's recordings. Married with Children, which was on air for 10 years until 1997, was known for controversial gags about sex and using overweight actresses as the butt of jokes. Megan was particularly unimpressed by that experience because of her inappropriate attire. She recalled, I went to an all-girl Catholic school, so I'd be in a little schoolgirl uniform. But then you would watch Tracy Lords or Tia Carrere in a school uniform. My dad said, no, Megan, that's not the same thing different kind of vibe. Don't get any ideas. On the Late Late Show with Mr. Ferguson, asked if anyone took interest in her because she was walking around in a little schoolgirl outfit or confused her with someone working on the show. Megan replied, er, no, thankfully. I mean, I had curly hair and a gap in my teeth. Harry and Megan want to leave the royal family. That's what happened at Buckingham Palace. The specter of Wallace Simpson in the shadow of Meghan Markle. The announcement of the Dukes of Sussex arrived via Instagram like a bolt from the blue just hours before the birthday of Kate Middleton, Meghan's father, Thomas Markle, who is said to be disappointed by his daughter's decision. And in the background, the British citizens who are wondering how much this coming and going of the Dukes between Canada and London will cost public accounts. A young American woman, charming and nonconformist, who wins the heart of the handsome prince so much that he pushes him to leave his royal family and give up the privileges of the crown for her. The story already seen by Queen Elizabeth, who, after recovering from the shock in the surprise announcement in which Harry and Meghan revealed to the world that they want to separate from the royal family, has certainly revised the disturbing specter of Wallace Simpson, the American already divorced for the sake of which her uncle Edward VIII abdicated, 
giving the throne to her father, George VI, and thus creating a deep fracture inside the Windsor House. Edward VIII, in fact, preferred the love of Wallace to the throne of England, and scandal within the scandal, only a few months after passing the scepter to his brother, his reign lasted less than a year from January 20th to December 11th, 1936, is married to that woman who already had a husband and a divorce behind her. How can we not see again in the controversial figure of Wallace Simpson some traits of Meghan Markle, the actress of African-American origins, who before the wedding won the favors of the sovereign and of the future in-law, Prince Charles, but then after the wedding began, like her struggling with the new in-laws, convincing her husband, Harry, to leave Kensington Palace to move into a new residence tailored to their needs, all accompanied by the vitriolic quarrels with the always perfect brothers-in-law, William and Kate. This is where the narrative about the Duchess is doubled. On the one hand, the portrait of the social climber willing to do anything done by the British tabloids. On the other, the one made by Prince Harry, who in the torments of his wife reviews the drama experienced by his mother Diana. And so, with the one who is the favorite grandson to whom the Queen always forgave all the stunts, has now become a thorn in the side of the monarchy. Now more than ever committed to looking to the future, promoting the image of Charles with William and little George, always alongside Elizabeth II. Especially since the announcement of Harry and Meghan came just a few hours after Kate Middleton's birthday, monopolizing the general attention and thus overshadowing the anniversary of the future Queen, which falls today on the 9th of January. On, in an official statement from Buckingham Palace, the royals said they were injured by the young couple's decision, but the court insiders cited by all the media in the kingdom, from the tabloids to the swampy BBC, to find them rather upset and very irritated, in the literal version, furious, in the most accredited translation from the court manners to current language. To offend them, explained several commentators, it was not so much the will of the Dukes of Sussex to emancipate themselves and to start working to become financially independent over time, or the choice of dividing their time between the United Kingdom and North America this year, Canada in particular. How much the hasty way of their announcement, which took place unilaterally and without being agreed with anyone, according to what was eventually learned. Everyone, including the 93-year-old Elizabeth II, learned of their decision through a post on Instagram. Harry and Meghan actually seemed to want to keep going. After last night's statement, among things, they made it known that they also wanted to have an autonomous media strategy from now on, ignoring the royal correspondence, against the backdrop of the ongoing controversy with many British newspapers, accused by Harry of persecuting his wife a bit like his mother Diana and in the future favoring young journalists or specialized publications. There is also no lack of questions, criticisms, and doubts about the real consequences of the blatant breakthrough, in particular on the annual prerogative of over £2 million, taxpayer money that the Sussexes now receive from the Queen through the Prince of Wales, in which in fact they do not seem to want to give up immediately, waiting to become independent, also suggesting they are ready to continue to receive individual Renumeration for the future for the real official part-time commitments that they are willing to continue and if the sovereign wants to entrust them to them. Meanwhile, anti-monarchist organizations such as Republic take the ball to question the privileges of the dukes and of the entire dynasty tout court, fearing, among other things, an increasing cost for British citizens. Already called upon to finance in recent months the nearly $3 million restoration work on the Frogmore Cottage residence. Safety costs and travel expenses for Harry, Meghan, and little Archie to the announced new life straddling the ocean. Costs difficult to eliminate even as a junior royal. How about you? What do you think of Meghan Markle's confession about life on TV? Please let us know in the comment section below and discuss them together. And as always, come back to our channel for all the latest news on the royal family, Meghan and Harry right here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.